So guys, I'm sitting outside right now, so that's why it's all so bright. And what you're about to see is vlog footage of me like wandering around in Lowe's looking for Tool World. And I think that it cuts off at a certain point because my camera ran out of storage, so that's you know the reason um, for that. And, but yeah, I'm about to show you guys all the tools and stuff that we got from um, Tool World. We're at Lowe's right now. We're looking for like bolt cutters and stuff, so setting up for their 4th of July special, which is always nice. And we also just recycled a buttload of um, like bulbs, which Lowe's does offer. I think Home Depot also offers. They take both these long ones, the little actual bulbs. So if you ever have like a bunch of bulbs or even just one or two, I would rec recommend that you um, give them up. They also take like these kinds of lights and stuff. So I think I might just go and find where the um, bolt cutters are and then just go from there. These, these like actual bulby ones. I think I showed you back there actually, but yeah, they take those. And I think, I think that they might also offer some glass recycling. So I guess it just depends on your local lows. Mine kind of takes it all. Currently, I am making my way down to the garden center. You guys can see that. Um, if you guys saw one of my previous videos, this is kind of one of the um, grills that we found. Yeah, I'm trying to speak lowly so like I don't bother anybody. But that grill that you saw earlier is kind of one that we found. Um, we didn't take all of it. We just took like uh, the actual grilling component, if you know what I mean. Like, um, we've also found a bunch of these uh, kinds of chairs. Uh, they're made up of aluminum, I think, because the magnet isn't sticking to them. So those are good finds. We found, I think, about two of those. And they're really good. Finds. It's like these kinds of working gloves are really good to have. Um, so that you don't get like hurt while lifting different things or splinters or anything. We also found these kinds of things, um, baskets one time, so that's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna go into the garden for now. I'm gonna try to find my mom. Uh, I can't see her and I don't really know where, uh, where it is. I'm also n trying not to show other people in the room because I don't want to record anybody without the permission. That's not cool. So we're just gonna go and try to find where my mom went. Um, if you can see it, you, I'm sure you can. So we have also found like a bunch of those and I'm back where I started, you guys might be able to tell. But we've also found a bunch of those lawn mowers before, so. Um, they're also not an uncommon find when I don't know where the pliers are or anything, so. I am going to go ask an employee for help and hopefully they'll be able to direct me to the place where those bulbs, I mean not bulbs, um, where the pliers are. I just asked um, one of the employees for some help and he told me that they are at the front so I am making my way and I'm also trying to avoid people because again I don't want to like accidentally record somebody without their permission so I'm just going to show you guys the products. Oh, we also found um, things like this. This is a really large um, tool pipe thing. Yeah. Okay, so the first item that I want to show you guys, I have the bag over here by the way, is this screwdriver. I, uh, we have always needed like a screwdriver like this. It is pretty thin right here and this part, the actual like screwing part is also pretty thin. Um, it says that it's 3 by 16 of an inch. As I was saying, it is a 3 by 16 inch or 150 millimeter, actually no, I read that wrong. It's a 6 inch, uh, 
tool thing. This part is six inches and it can do a three by 16 inch um, uh, bolt or nut, whatever, you know, the, the screw. And this was, I think, like three or four dollars. It's really cheap. I haven't opened it up, obviously, but I'm gonna guess that it's pretty sturdy as well. So um, that is a really good that we got and um, I w definitely have always needed something like this my entire family has um, that's pretty thin right here because we always have those um, bigger screwdrivers without something that's this long so to have both of those things is really good and kind of what I like we've always needed so this is a really good find um so the second item that we bought was uh, stuck in the bag but uh, this it is a really really good uh, tool and it's a really strong tool to cut like um, some wiring some like kind of sh uh, less thick wires kind of less thick metal pieces that you find while scrapping um, it's really good for that I think this one was m the most expensive at like 18 ish dollars maybe a little bit less than that I'm not quite sure uh, and um, some of the features that it says that it has is um, that it can cut up to uh, 20 gauges 0.81 millimeters of cold rolled steel or um, 0.64 of stainless steel it's durable uh, it apparently it's laser etched what I'm trying to get across is that it is a really really sturdy really really um, good wire cutter at all it also expands to this far which is definitely something that we have been looking for and um, for the price that it was I think it's a really really good investment it isn't that too too expensive either so I'm really happy about this uh, purchase as well so on to the last tool that I got um so this one is a um oh by the way this if you were wondering is a 12 inch so it's a foot or 305 millimeters in case you're uh, using the metric system um that's how long this thing is it's a snipping tool essentially so yeah it's by craftsman too this is as well and i think yeah all of these are by craftsman um and they're in the tool world tool world at lowe's if you're like looking for them um so this one uh doesn't open up as much so we primarily got it to like get um wires and stuff and because our old snipping tool was kind of you know getting older it was kind of starting to like not be as powerful the blades weren't as um sharp anymore so it was getting harder to cut stuff with it and so that's why we got this one it also was not that expensive of a um tool that we got so uh, the, as i said before my total was around 35 dollars that much i know it might have been extra just because of taxes and stuff but um pure cost without any um additional stuff inside of it uh, meaning like without any taxes and stuff was under $35 that much I know yeah it's a seven inch long tool uh, once again we've been needing something like this and it is really really important to have like a really good tool in order for you to be able to like cut uh, wires and stuff that you have um, when you're like going scrapping and stuff so I'm really really happy with this purchase um, so like as I've always said with when you're dealing with tools like this or like this or even like the screwdriver I showed you guys earlier it's always really important to have um, to keep in mind safety features and stuff that you'll need to have in order to um, like fully implement it so you know make sure you're wearing like goggles make sure you're wearing like um gloves make sure you're wearing sturdy shoes you know just make sure that you're being safe when operating these tools obviously i can't make you guys uh, wear any of those things but it is a word of advice for anybody who might be trying to like get into this um thing just to be careful and make sure that you don't accidentally snip something uh, that you don't want to or like if you like drop it or something you don't accidentally hit something that you don't want to I hope that you guys liked this video. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and share it. Um, turn that little bell icon on. Um, 
leave me any ideas that for videos that you guys want to see. Um, also, please t uh, tune in to last week's video and the week before that. Both of those will be linked below. Um, I also have a playlist on my channel for those. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a great day. Goodbye.